question. Who's a doofus? Answer. Right here. Uh, you hear that, right? Anyway. Um, yeah, so this entire video that you're going to see after this um, was recorded on mute. Yeah, my microphone was on mute. So you're going to be able to watch the entire game. I'm going to fast forward through the parts where I was just blah blahing to myself, but um, yeah. The game itself has audio, but my microphone was muted, so you're going to get to watch me on mute, which is probably preferable. You just get to see me up in the corner talking to myself, even though nobody can hear me. So yeah, I'm going. Like I said, I'm going to fast forward through the parts where it's just me talking, and you'll be able to hear the game audio. But thankfully, this is just a search and find game, so it's not terribly interesting commentary. But just a warning, for the next video after this, the next part, I will have sound, because I, I realized my mistake, thankfully. But unfortunately in this episode, it's just going to be the game audio, so just a heads up. What's up, Stell? Are you supposed to be in history class right now? Oh my god, you haven't heard? Heard what? Mr. Barry started letting students blab on the phone while I teach his history? <laughs> I doubt that. Miranda, class was canceled. Mr. Barrett, he's... Um, hey, Stella, I gotta go. Miranda Hunt, I'm Special Agent Hartman. He's Special Agent Tucker. Secret Service. Let's take a little ride. Okay, you know what? I have no idea what a real Secret Service badge looks like. <laughs> Yours looks really shiny, but I'm not about to hop in a car with you. Um, what exactly does the Secret Service want with me anyways? Or is it a secret? Ma'am, you might want to rethink the snarky attitude. Your pal Professor Barrett is missing. We believe you had something to do with it. Let's go. I was not being snarky. Where are you taking me? That depends on your answers. Where were you last night, Miranda? Studying. I'm a student. Anyone see you studying? I was in my room, alone, as usual. So no alibi, then? You actually have a file on me? We have a file on everyone. You are no ordinary student, are you, Miranda? Your professors say you're brilliant. They have high hopes for you, especially Henry Barrett. He's kind of your mentor, is that right? He's my history professor and a dear friend. If he's missing, I want to help find him. Just what we had in mind, Miss Hunt. We know you've assisted the professor on his field work. You helped him find that shipwreck. The Phantom? Right. You know more about his work and his crackpot theories than anyone else. We're taking you to the White House to assist our investigation. He was working on something at the White House? That was the professor's last known location. That's where he disappeared. Turn the car around. What for? Professor Barrett keeps a work journal every time he starts a new project. We need to find it. The best place to look is back at his office. All right, Miss Hunt. We'll try this your way for now. You heard the girl. Turn around. It's all clear. You can come in now, ma'am. Oh no! What happened to this place? Someone tore this place apart. Let's hope they didn't find what they were looking for. Look around and see if you can find any clues. I suppose the journal will help, a little. I think I better keep it a secret for now. At least until I understand what's really going on here. Oh, Henry. What the heck did you get yourself into this time? Find anything? Yes and no. Nothing that sheds any light on what this is all about. Then let's head over to the White House. You can come back to the professor's office later on if you need to. Wow, what happened in this room? It looks like an antique shop exploded. Please don't use words like exploded in the White House. It makes us kind of edgy. 
Uh, the word was well chosen. What you see here is the handiwork of your dear friend, uh, Professor Barrett. He left many rooms in a similar state of chaos. Well, he does tend to spread out while he works. Miranda Hunt, meet Ronald R. Chow, White House curator. You'll be working together from now on. I don't understand. What was Henry doing here? Uh, Professor Barrett volunteered his services to the curator's office to help us find and catalog important artifacts that have been misplaced over the years. I guess with 6,000 visitors a day, not to mention all the reconstruction efforts, it makes sense that a few things have gotten lost. Well, I'm, I'm glad you understand. Unfortunately, he vanished before he could complete his work and left things in such a sorry state that we had to close the White House to the public. Fortunately, your background in history and your tutelage under Professor Barrett makes you the ideal candidate to continue his work. What? Oh, no. Look, all I want to do is find Henry and go home. And what better way to find him than to retrace his steps, hmm? But... Face it, Miranda. You're the best person for the job. This isn't actually a request, honey. I will provide you with lists of missing items. And when you're done, give me a call and I'll send you another one. Do I have a choice? No. no. That's her. Of course it is. Hello, Miranda. I couldn't wait to meet you. You know who I am? You're Felix Whitaker, Secretary of the Treasury. That's right. But I'm more than that to you. I also happen to be your benefactor. You see, our friend Mr. Chow here doesn't think you belong in the White House. I had to convince him to work with you at all. I'm shocked. She's going to break something. I just know it. And the Secret Service? They would have arrested you had I not intervened. You have me to thank for the high level of clearance you currently enjoy. Okay. Thank you, I guess. So, why are you helping me? I want you to track down your missing professor, of course. He was here at my invitation, and I feel responsible for whatever it is that happened to him. I truly hope you find him, Miranda. Good luck. Just remember, if you cause any damage during your search, I won't cover for you in the slightest. In fact, I'll feign ignorance. Yeah, I bet you're really good at that. Sorry, Stella. Things have been kind of, well, hectic. Doesn't really sound the right word. Surreal? Frantic? Forget it. I have to make up a new word. I'm feeling serantic. Very serantic. Okay, so what the heck happened to you? Oh, right. The Secret Service kind of yanked me off the street and threw me in a car. Whoa, did they arrest you or what? No, they put me to work as a matter of fact. I'm at the White House. Henry Barrett disappeared somewhere in this building, and I intend to find him. The White House? wander away from his tour group or something? Not this time. I think he was looking for something. And whatever it was must have been pretty important. Because other people want it too. I think he's in real danger. Sorry to hear that. I know you two are pretty close. He's like a crazy uncle to me. I've known him since I was a kid. He and my mother used to go on expeditions together. He was there when she was... lost. <laughs> Being near him makes me feel closer to her, somehow. Oh man, I didn't realize. I just thought he liked you because, you know, you actually paid attention in his class. I'm the only one who pays attention in his class. I need to find him, Stella. I can't lose him, too. I'm sure he'll turn up. 
Call me back if you find out anything. Sure. I'll call you later. 